Battery level is 82%. Estimated range is 187. Rated range is 193 miles. You gotta admit, that's kinda cool. Hey everyone, super quick video this week. As you can probably guess from the opening shot, I recently got my hands on an Amazon Echo Dot and I've been playing around with it a bit. When I started tinkering with it, I'll admit, I thought to myself, hmm, it'd be kinda cool to have this thing call the Tesla API and actually pull data from my Model S and relay it to me. However, before attempting to reinvent the wheel, I did a little searching and discovered there are some TMC members who are working on projects to do exactly that. The Alexa skill that I was invoking there started life uh, by the name of EV Car and then eventually split off into a separate version called My Tesla Unofficial. Both of them are developed and maintained by the same TMC member uh, and have the same core functionality, but the My Tesla Unofficial version was created to change the invocation from EV car to My Car. So instead of saying, ask EV car how far can I drive, you can say, ask My Car how far can I drive. There are also a few other similar projects that uh, people in TMC and outside of TMC have been working on. A quick but very important disclaimer here before I go any further. I'm not endorsing any particular third-party app or Alexa skill or anything like that. I'm not endorsing the usage of third-party apps uh, with your Tesla. I just want to show off one of the neat things that the community is doing with Tesla's remote access. At present, anytime you use a third-party application to access your Tesla over the internet, uh, you are taking a calculated risk because you are providing providing that third-party software with your login credentials for your Tesla account. From a security standpoint, this is something that I don't advise doing unless you understand the risks you're taking. Some of the third-party software, like this particular Alexa skill, will allow you to, instead of providing your Tesla credentials, uh, simply provide a, uh, a token to log in with. But Tesla doesn't really give you any easy way to generate said token, and so you end up having to rely on some third-party uh, Python scripts that some people in DMC wrote to generate that token. Which brings us back to the first part of my warning. So until Tesla decides to actually start supporting third-party software developers, understand that you are taking a risk by using third-party applications. With that out of the way, what kind of things can you do with this Alexa skill? Well, they can do pretty much all the same stuff that the official Tesla app can do, except they can't unlock the car. Apparently there was a whole thing between the developer and Amazon about removing the lock-unlock functionality from the skill, and they can't actually start the car, so it's not like you can ask uh, Alexa to make your car turn on so you can drive it. That said, remember, your credentials do give people the ability to do that, so keep it in mind. Let's try giving it some commands. Alexa, ask my car for car status. Tessie has been driven 19,871 miles and is running firmware 2017.28C528869. Doors are locked. Alexa, ask my car for charge status. Battery level is 82%. Estimated range is 186. Rated range is 193 miles. Alexa, ask my car, where's my car? Tessie is stationary pointing west. On Alexa, tell my car to set charge limit to 100%. Okay. Alexa, ask my car for climate status. Climate is off. Auto conditioning is off. Inside temperature is 102. Outside temperature is 96. Driver side set to 74. Passenger side set to 74. Alexa, tell my car to cool my car. Okay. Is this sort of thing cool? Of course it is. Is it useful? Well, I guess that kind of depends on how useful you find uh, digital assistance to be in the first place. Personally, I'm probably not going to keep the skill enabled. I'll disable it and then invalidate the token. But it does do a good job of demonstrating the sort of functionality and integration with other systems that's possible with Tesla's vehicles. Will Tesla ever release something like this that's official? Who knows? It depends on whether their software department has some free time. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I told you this week's video would be quick. There are links in the video description below for the TMC discussion thread about this particular Alexa skill, uh, as well as discussion threads for a couple others, um, and the Python token generator that I was talking about, and some other stuff too. And as always, questions and comments below. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.